We are Team 7 from Iowa State University, and I am Bruce Wichork. I'm Johnny Marcotte. I'm Michael Montemuro. I am Drew Dickman. And we had the privilege of working with Timberline Manufacturing during the fall 2019 semester. Timberline Manufacturing, located in Marion, Iowa, is an employee-owned contract manufacturer focused on complex electrical subassemblies and quality-focused engineering. Timberline has developed a working relationship with Collins Aerospace, and through this relationship, Timberline began producing Collins radios as a contract manufacturer. A high demand for Collins Aerospace radios has helped create an opportunity for Timberline in which they can further expand their electronics department as they help Collins meet their demand. Collins Aerospace has tasked Timberline with the goal of doubling production. To achieve Timberline's goal of doubling the radio throughput, the team put forth metrics to measure the success of the project. The objectives were split into three different categories radio assembly process improvements that will increase the overall radio throughput by 25% and reducing the throughput utilizing standard work instructions, layout optimization that will increase radio throughput by 15% and reduce operator walking movement by 50%, and finally work task balance and redesign with the goal of reducing QA cycle time by 50% and to reduce material movement time by 50%. At the beginning of the project, the team identified that Timberline was utilizing batch production to produce roughly 20 to 30 radio units per month. As it stood, Timberline produced a radio in 6.63 hours. The bottleneck of the process was identified at Workstation 1, which consisted of two operators focused mainly on cable subassembly builds. The team also identified a lack of assembly flow and in addition, underdeveloped and often inaccurate work instructions. This resulted in overtime needed to meet demand. The approach that our team utilized to reach the goals of our project was to understand the electronics room process flow through building a value stream map, document operator movement to build a spaghetti diagram using a known scale and layout, workstation tasks and responsibilities identified and documented, observe time studies with synthetic operator efficiency standards developed, through usage of predetermined motion and time studies, line balancing analysis with ProPlanner, facility layout design using AutoCAD, digital work instructions using PowerPoint software, and finally estimating the financial impact using Excel. In the future state design, the team developed a one-job flow assembly. An additional operator was added to Workstation 1 to relieve the bottleneck. Additionally, tasks were redistributed between panel build and full build workstations. The team redesigned the layout moving QA to sub-assembly and full build production areas to reduce the cycle time. All of these design changes resulted in a 50% throughput increase. The economic impact of our group's recommendations will be gained through two main activities, line balancing or addressing the bottleneck, and radio build process improvements to increase operator efficiencies. These recommendations have aided in providing a calculated three-year net present value, which range between over $82,000 and over $749,000 in pure profit for Timberline. This range exists because Timberline has one customer of this product, and this leads to a demand that is outside of Timberline's control. If Timberline continues to build in at the current level of demand, they'll experience the lower end of the aforementioned range, but if Timberline experiences an increase in demand from Collins Aerospace, they'd be able to ramp up production to meet a higher level of demand and thus earning more profit through sales of radios. This project presents this growing company another opportunity to expand and fully utilize their new location and space. Lastly, we would like to thank Timberline for giving us a challenging yet effective project and thank everybody for watching our videos. This is Team 7 signing off.